Okay, so here we have a um, uh, rectangular coil uh, of 200 turns. Okay, rectangular coil, so something like this lah. Yeah, something like this. Uh, with size uh, 10 cm times uh, 15 cm. So this rectangular coil is a rectangular shape. 10 cm times 50 cm. 15 cm. Yeah, rectangular. Okay, with 200 turns. Okay, so we already have a end. We have area. Uh, and then he says uh, he rotates at a constant angular velocity of 600 rpm. So this is our uh, omega. Okay, this is our omega. Um, uh, uniform magnetic field of flux density. Uh, magnetic field, flux density, uh, 20 milli tesla. So the tesla is a unit for magnetic field. So we have our magnetic field. Okay. Um, so what changing here is the angle theta, yeah? because got, uh, there is is rotating uh, with angular velocity. So a he asked for the maximum uh, maximum EMF produced by the coil. Okay, so he asked for the E max. Okay, maximum EMF. Secondly, b he asked for the EMF also at the instant when the plane of the coil makes an angle of 60 degree with the magnetic field. Okay, so find the EMF, uh, EMF E, when uh, the plane is 60 degree with the magnetic field. So something like this. Okay, uh, yeah. So find the EMF when the plane is 60 degree with the magnetic field. This is the plane and this is the magnetic field, 60 degree. Okay. That's the questions. All right. So uh, this is the information given. So uh, it's a rectangular coil, uh, 10 times 15. Okay, the number of turns, the area. Okay, the area is a uh, centi centimeter square. So remember to change to SI unit. Centi square is negative four. Okay, and then uh, the angular velocity 600 rpm. Okay, this is a revolution per minute. So we must change to radian per second. So how? So we know that one revolution is 2 pi radian. So times 2 pi radian. And then divide by minute. One minute is 60 second. Uh, okay. So uh, re revolution per minute means times 2 pi over 60. Okay. So we will get this one. 20 pi radian per second. Okay? And then the magnetic flux density or magnetic field strength uh, in milli change to SI unit negative 3. Yeah? Tesla. Alright, now find the maximum EMF. Okay, maximum EMF induced. So we know that the formula for EMF induced for rotating coil is. E induced equal to NBA omega sine omega T. Okay. Uh, and we know that uh, this actually, this part actually shows the E max. Okay. Or we can say that E maximum, okay, uh, when the theta or the omega t is 90 degree okay 90 degree uh, so the sine sine omega t will be equal to the sine omega t will be equal to 1 okay sine omega t will be equal to 1 so uh, our e maximum is actually uh, this part, yeah, E maximum is this part because uh, the sine omega t has already equal to 1 when theta equal to 90 degree. So, NBA omega, so we know that this part already become 1, okay, sine omega t equal to 1. So, um, just substitute all the information given number of turns 200, magnetic field strength is negative uh, 20, negative 3. 
area is uh, 150 exponent negative 4 and then omega is 20 pi okay uh, that's it and so finally our answer we will get um, 3.77 volt that's our answer next is the B uh, he asked for EMF induced when the plane of coil is 60 degree with the magnetic field okay so what is the angle theta is it is the angle theta 60 degree no yeah uh, theta theta is what is the angle between is the angle between the normal area with magnetic field not the plane not the plane it's the normal you must look for the normal so we must draw the normal of the area the normal to the plane uh, this one the angle between the normal and the magnetic field is angle theta not the 60 degree okay we must uh, look for the normal with the magnetic field uh, and how to find the theta theta is uh, of course theta is of course is 90 minus 60 because the uh, normal and plane is 90 degree so 90 minus 60 we get 30 degree so this one is 30 degree uh, okay uh, so we use back the formula for this one uh, mba omega sine omega t uh, omega t is actually theta okay so um, uh, e equal to n b a omega uh, sine we put sine theta because the actually this theta is uh, this theta actually is uh, omega t like uh, last time s equal to u t so remember uh, in linear motion okay uh, uh, theta is s uh, omega is velocity yeah so okay now uh, uh, put our ve okay we already cal calculated our mba omega just now this is the e maximum see remember the e maximum which is a uh, uh, 3.77 so just substitute inside 3.77 and then sign 30 not 60 yeah 30 Ah, so lastly, we get the answer 1.885 volts EMF induced when the uh, at this instant. Okay.